Hello, this is Extreme Darian, and this is part 8 of this um, rotation tutorial, and I just showed you how to use um, masking to, um, to restore the parts of me that go off the green screen here. Um, but now I'm going to show you a shortcut that might work for you. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and remove that mask, because it's not going to use masking. What I'm going to do is come over here towards the beginning when I was not going off the green screen. Um, and I'm just going to isolate a little um, clip here, drag this over. Um, now what's in between here is all that's going to be rendered. Now I'm going to render out this little two second clip. Okay. So now I can span the timeline again. And what I'm going to do is bring in this little two second clip of this, basically this footage, except it's before my hands start going off the screen. So now I'm going to bring it down here. And as you can see, it's only a two second clip, so it's not long enough. So come up here to the footage, go to interpret footage, main and let's say loop it 12 times and now this part is green so that means we can expand it because it's being looped now what I'm going to do is come up to this one and go into keying difference mat drag it onto here and under the difference layer we're going to tell it to use that partial key blank now can shut off partial key blank and look what we get. See, there we go. It's looking at the difference between the blank version and the version um, where my hands go off the screen. It's not perfect, but we can still use the old tools like Simple Choker and choke out those edges a little bit. Now we can turn on our main layer and suddenly my hands are back. Now this isn't perfect. Um, you get, if you look for it, there are a few problems, especially in the faster um, motion blur areas. Like right there. Um, but it works because the background contrasts very well with my hands. If it didn't, this wouldn't work. Maybe not at all. So yeah, it depends on your footage. So we're all thinking, does this mean we don't need green screen? We just use the difference mat and film anywhere? Uh, yes and no, mostly no, unfortunately. Here I have footage from part five of this tutorial and I have a blank uh, slate back here. And if I use difference mat, turn off the blank slate, yeah, not too good. Um, the problem is that there are all these darkly colored areas up here for, the, for my dark clothes. It just doesn't contrast enough like my hands did with the darker background in the other footage. Um, that doesn't mean it, uh, the difference mat doesn't have potential. You'll just have to plan really well your backgrounds and what you're filming. And you might actually get it to work um, without green screen. But it might end up being more trouble than just going out and getting some green screen in. So now our key is done. But still need to do at least one more thing to the footage. I'm going to take all of these and pre-compose them. That will make it so all the masks and effects are not interfering with what we're going to do here. And now, if you remember the original YouTube video, this is supposed to look like me standing up. <laughs> um, I just used a little trick of editing um, to film me sitting down and have it look like I'm standing up. So uh, what I actually want to do here is to use a mask like I used previously. Um, I told you you were going to be using this a lot, and uh, everybody uses this a lot, so um, what I'm going to do is create a mask around there, go down to masks, hit none, and see what we're doing still. 
animate the mask. Now I'm going to go in and so far it's okay. It loses it, it about there. If I want to add a key right here so it'll stay the same between here and here, just click this button right here. It'll add a key. And here I want to move it out of the way a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stay here. Gonna move it down. Uh, in between the my, my elbow stays out of the way and uh, there and what we're just get doing is oh, that's not too good there um, What I'm doing is just creating a mat so I can remove my leg there. And if you look closely, you can tell something's a little off, but it's really hard to tell in the original footage. So I, I think you get the idea here. So I'm just going to go in and do the rest of that. You don't need to watch me do all of that. So use the time-lapse technique. Okay, uh, that didn't take too long, so now if you want to see what I did, um, these are the keyframes for two masks. I just had this one doing this, and the complicated parts are, of course, when the hand and elbow started interfering. Um, just had to go in and do what's basically frame by frame editing right there. Um, and uh, then I set up another mask uh, towards the end um, on the other side. And then, yeah. So not a master job. A pretty bad job, actually, but it's good enough. If you click this button, you can turn off the mask's visibility. So now what we want to do is render this out. So go to... Actually, with this one, we do want the audio on, but it's a good idea to go into all your pre-comps and make sure the audio is on for um, your main one that you want the audio for, as it was not in this case, so it's good. Um, so, now we go into Composition, Make Movie. Hover over this area, press the tilde key, you can maximize this. We need to go into the output module because I want to use the the Garth codec because it's much smaller. And we want that alpha layer, after all this was what that was all about, um, created, creating the alpha layer. So we want to go in here, go to RB, RGB plus alpha and millions of colors plus, and we want to export the audio, and that's good. So now... We just render it out and render. So uh, now if we go back in, I'll just go to a new project, uh, sure, six genes. Um, and we go and get this final key and drag it out. We've got the alpha layer and everything else and we are good to go. Uh, one of the other advantages with rendering out with the alpha layer is that you're going to get a much smaller file size. Remember that file size example I did earlier with the Huffy uncompressed in Lagarth? Well, the Lagarth of that um, footage, which was this, uh, about 24 seconds of it, um, may be 303 megabytes, but the same footage with the alpha layer, with the green screen taken out, is 83 megabytes. So, much friendlier on your hard drive than, of course, 961 uncompressed megabytes. So, I think we are done with the key. In the next segment, we'll be moving into the final stretch. Um, we'll be doing the actual rotation effect which will probably take about 15 segments based on the way it's been going so far. Anyway, uh, I hope you have the patience to, uh, to keep, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll see you next time.